The movie starts with a woman named Kirk looking for her lost baby pig in the woods. At the same time, a man named Sam is driving in a foreign country. He stops to ask a man walking by if he knows about a picture, but the man doesn't understand and can't help. Sam gets annoyed when his GPS stops working. Suddenly, a picture in his car starts floating strangely. When Sam looks back up, he sees the lost baby pig walking on the road. He quickly stops the car and finds the pig, named Peppa Pig, injured and unable to move. Thinking the pig is dead, he starts to bury it. But then, he sees a shadowy figure in the distance. Scared, Sam grabs a weapon for protection. The figure starts screaming, and the pig wakes up. Sam puts the pig in his car. Just then, Kirk appears and scolds Sam for driving too fast in a language he doesn't understand. Sam asks if she speaks English. Kirk tells Sam that pigs are their main source of income. Sam offers to drive her home since he's lost. During the ride, the piglet keeps squealing, making Sam think it's hurt. But Kirk isn't worried and says the piglet is just happy. When they reach Kirk's home, she lets the piglet go back to its barn. She then prepares food and drinks for Sam. Kirk asks Sam where he's from, and he vaguely says it's a noisy place. Kirk is concerned because almost everyone has left their area, leaving only pigs. She thinks she might have to move to the city and sell the pigs. Sam thinks Kirk is looking forward to moving to the city, but she disagrees. She wants to honor her mother's wishes. Sam asks about a man named Ladin, but Kirk just laughs and shakes her head. Kirk sets up a bed for Sam and assures him that her mother's spirit won't bother him at night. She tells Sam he can stay as long as he wants. However, Kirk leaves before Sam can tell her that he needs to leave in the morning. The next morning, Sam wakes up to find three people staring at him. He quickly stands up and covers himself. Two men check him out while Kirk tells her father, Gustavs, that she wants Sam to stay. Sam asks if anyone knows a man named Ladin. Another man, named John Cook, seems interested in the name, but Gustavs corrects him, saying it's Logan. Sam asks where Logan is, but Gustavs talks about John Cook being tough and hard-headed. Confused, Sam asks Kirk to translate. Suddenly, John Cook headbutts Sam, knocking him out. Later, Sam wakes up in a barn, chained. The men talk about feeding him to the pigs. Gustav says Sam belongs to him and he can do whatever he wants with him. Sam tries to move but gets kicked in the face by John Cook. He then yells at Kirk, saying disrespectful things about women. Kirk warns John Cook not to touch Sam before she leaves. Sam tries to go after John Cook, but the chain around his neck stops him. John Cook just stares at Sam, imagining him being close with Kirk and getting jealous because he wants to marry her. Kirk comes back with a broom to clean around Sam. John Cook leaves, threatening Sam. Sam cries and begs Kirk to let him go, but she doesn't answer. He spits at Kirk in anger, but Gustavs beats him up in return. The next morning, Sam wakes up bruised, bleeding, and cold. Gustavs and Kirk arrive with buckets. Kirk shows Sam the chores he must do for the pigs and tells him to work for food. Scared, Sam tries to protect himself but eventually approaches the buckets. He kicks one over, angering Gustavs. Kirk stops Gustavs and suggests letting Sam go hungry to teach him a lesson. Gustavs threatens to feed Sam to the pigs if he misbehaves again and leaves. Kirk tells Sam he needs to obey them to be happy and follows her father. Later, in the evening, Sam wakes up and sees food on a tray but can't reach it because of the chains. Sam tries to reach the food, but the piglet he saved earlier gets to it first and starts eating. He tries to shoo the piglet away with hay, but gives up when it doesn't work. The next day, two brothers named Wilhelms and Marx come into the barn and see Sam, who is enslaved. Sam asks them for help, but the brothers just watch and laugh. Marx mentions that he and Kirk won't have to work much because Sam is there to do it for them. John Cook, Marx's son, shows up behind them. Wilhelms and Marx say they want to buy Sam and eight pigs. John Cook protests, saying Sam is terrible and eats a lot. Despite this, the brothers want to negotiate with Gustavs, who doesn't want to sell Sam because he thinks Sam was sent by God. That night, John Cook comes to free Sam from his chains. He tells Sam to hurry, and they run off. Kirk sees them and yells to stop. She chases them, but John Cook stops her, saying Sam will just use her and ruin the farm. Sam doesn't know where to go, and John Cook hits Kirk with a stick. She fights back and declares she will never be with him. Kirk and John Cook continue to fight. Kirk tricks him with a kiss and then tackles him. John Cook threatens to harm her, but Sam intervenes and chokes John Cook with the chains. They are interrupted by Gustavs firing his gun. John Cook runs away, and Kirk tells Sam her father is thankful for Sam saving her life. 
Sam is given food and clothes, and Kirk explains that her father likes him. Sam asks why Kirk led him into this situation, but she says she didn't force him, he chose to give her a ride home. Sam starts working in the barn, taking care of the pigs. Gustavs comes to replace his short chain with a longer one. He says the chain will get longer as Sam works harder, allowing him to do more farm work. Gustavs explains that Kirk is just a woman, and he's getting older, so they need Sam's help. Sam doesn't fully understand what Gustavs is saying. Gustavs opens a door next to Sam, showing him a new area. Sam breathes in the fresh morning air and looks around at the view. Gustavs calls him to show him his new job. Sam is given the task to slaughter a pig for an upcoming party, but he refuses. Gustavs shows him how it's done, but Sam can't watch. After Gustavs finishes, Sam cleans up the messy aftermath and sees the piglet he saved earlier saying Mama, which scares him away. Back in the barn, Kirk bathes Sam to make him clean for the party. Sam, dressed nicely and still chained, is led by Gustavs to the party where many people are gathered. Gustavs tells Sam to eat well since he deserves it and shows him off to the brothers. Marx wishes his son could be as obedient as Sam and looks at John Cook who is sitting alone in a corner. During the party, Kirk brings out a plate of meat and sits next to Sam. Sam drinks too much, and guests dance to the music. Kirk pulls Sam to dance with her while Gustavs watches. Marx and Wilhelms bring food to John Cook, who is sulking about Kirk and Sam. John Cook suggests they could have married him to Kirk to keep the farm. Marx realizes John Cook just wants the farm for himself. Wilhelms orders John Cook to act like a dog, and he obeys, getting on all fours and receiving belly rubs from Marx. Marx tells John Cook he needs to be stronger to achieve his goals, and then the brothers leave while Kirk and Sam are dancing. Gustavs interrupts them, saying Sam doesn't deserve Kirk. Upset, Sam returns to the barn and finds a dog. He tries to dominate the dog by acting aggressively and barking. The dog turns out to be John Cook, who signals Sam to look at something. Sam sees his car covered in the distance. He manages to get inside but can't close the door because he's chained. Inside the glove box, he finds chocolate and enjoys its taste. He also finds the keys and starts the car. The headlights reveal Kirk watching him. She shouts that Sam, the foreigner, is escaping, and Gustavs drags him back to the barn with a crowd of people watching. Sam gets whipped in front of everyone, leaving him bleeding and in pain. He's put back on a short chain and sits in a corner. The piglet visits him, but Sam tells it to go away. The piglet returns with a pair of pliers, giving Sam hope. While everyone is busy loading pigs onto a truck, they miss the piglet. Sam breaks free from his chains and sneaks into the truck. On the road, Sam throws himself against the truck's sides, causing it to flip and crash. Sam runs away, and John Cook yells at him to run faster. Back at the farm, Kirk enters the barn with food for Sam. When she realizes he's gone, she drops the tray and starts crying loudly, alerting her father, Gustavs. Gustavs leaves, and Kirk cries about being alone again and going back to her boring life. She feels she had to capture a man to be happy. Sam runs through the woods but falls into a pit, knocking himself out. He wakes up in the dark and tries to find a way out, cursing his bad luck. By morning, a rope is thrown down the pit by the piglet. Sam is amazed and pulls himself out, thanking the piglet. He talks to the piglet, which helps him remove the metal chain from his neck. Sam finds other pigs from the crash truck and leads them through the woods to the crash site to look for food. Meanwhile, Kirk misses Sam and holds his underwear, feeling nostalgic about when he was chained up and dependent on her. She hopes and waits for him to return. Despite wanting freedom, Sam realizes he misses Kirk and considers going back to her. While walking through the woods, he hears gunshots in a cornfield. Gustavs and the brothers are searching for the pigs and Sam. John Cook is on all fours, sniffing like a dog to help in the search. When John Cook spots Sam, he smirks. Sam tries to sneak through the cornfield but Gustavs points his gun at him, asking where the pigs are. Gustavs promises not to tell anyone he found Sam if Sam helps get the pigs back. Sam is confused, and the brothers catch up, urging Gustavs to shoot Sam. The piglet tells Sam to run, and John Cook lunges at the gun. A shot is fired, and Gustavs is hit in the leg. Sam is taken back to Gustavs' home, secretly happy to be with Kirk again. Kirk tends to Sam's wound, and Gustavs tells her to have children with Sam. Holding their hands, Gustavs gives his blessing for them to marry. As the couple gets intimate, they're interrupted by a flash of light from outside. They rush out to find the barn on fire. John Cook emerges with a torch, threatening to harm them if Sam touches Kirk. John Cook reveals his true feelings for Kirk, 
saying he'll return to school and ask her to run away with him. After the barn fire, Sam saves what he can and finds John Cook with Kirk, then beats him up. Marks and Wilhelms were responsible for the fire but settle things with Gustavs and pay for the damages. They attend Kirk and Sam's wedding, and Gustavs is happy to see them married. Unfortunately, Gustavs passes away on their wedding night. Sam wakes up to find Kirk pregnant. He drinks water and hears a door creak open. Outside, he sees the piglet, now grown, bidding him farewell. Sam feels upset that he never found Logan or returned home. He wonders if he should leave Kirk for freedom or stay on the farm with her and their children. In the end, Sam can only watch as the pig finds its freedom instead of him.